All right, friends, it is butchering day. We are down to our last 13 chickens out of 80 that we are processing today on the farm. This is the last 13. Let me show you our quick setup and then I will also go through and show you how we process them out. Here we have our kill cones. We've got three of them. This is what we put them upside down in and you can do two methods. Ours method of choice is we go ahead and cut their heads completely off, but you can also slit their throats and let them bleed out that way. Over here, we have our scalder. You need to make sure that your temperature is 175 to 185 to properly scald your chickens. After that, we head over here to our plucker. This plucks all of the feathers off the chickens for us. And then we have our stations of where we cut them out and remove all of their intestines. This is the trash bucket. This is all the stuff that we don't use. We don't, this is all the stuff that we do use. We've got the feet, we've got the neck, we've got the liver, we've got the gizzard. All those things are utilized. The feet, I will go ahead and will dehydrate them for the, the dogs. That's their treat. The liver, the gizzards, and the heart, they go to my neighbor. And that's it. Now let me show you all of our chicken that we have in our ice chest. This is one ice chest completely full of chicken. This is our second ice chest completely full of chicken. And we had to bring out the third ice chest, which is gonna be for the last 13. Right, so now our chickens are all ready to go ahead and start cutting up. So first thing I do is I go ahead and I cut off the feet. Then up here at the front, I'm gonna do a little pinch and make a slit. This is to get the crop and esophagus and the windpipe. Got you again. And you just need to get them away from the skin and the connective tissue so that you can pull them all out through the bottom. Now you go to the back and you do the same thing. You make a small slit. Be careful that you don't, you wanna make sure you pinch it and pull it out because the intestines are right underneath there and you do not want to puncture any of the intestines and cause all of that nastiness to go into the cavity of the chicken. So in a sweeping motion, I like to go across the top of it and release all the connective tissue that's in there. This part takes a little bit because you want to be careful not to break the gallbladder that is inside there. You break your gallbladder and that's it. Your chicken is done. You need to throw it away. So then you grab the crop from the top and you pull it down and everything comes out. These bright pink things are the lungs. You want to make sure you get rid of them. If they don't come out with everything, this one did, but the rest didn't. And then I, we cut the, the tail completely off. So I just go down and around. Same thing on this side. And then I cut it off. I put that off to the side and I finish making sure everything is cleaned out of my chicken. Now I remove the necks because I keep those for broth. So you want to make sure you cut pretty far down because if you are bagging your chickens and you don't, you will end up puncturing holes in your bags when you go to bag them up. So you want to make sure you go pretty far down there. And cut off your neck. And there we go. All cleaned out on the inside. All right, now for this part, these are all the intestines. If you want to keep some of them, you can. If you want to get rid of them, you can get rid of them. We like to keep some of them. So we're keeping the gizzard, the liver, the heart, and the necks. So I'm going to go ahead. Here's the heart. So I'm going to remove that. The liver, this is where your gallbladder is attached. 
this is your gallbladder, this green one right here. So you want to make sure you don't cut that. So when you're cutting off your liver, you have to be careful and cut around it. You want the water hose over here, Joseph? Yeah. I want to do the wash up. So this way you don't cut the liver or the gallbladder. The gizzard, same thing. Just remove all the connective tissue and just cut. And that's the gizzard. And all the rest of this we throw away. All right, friends, we are officially done. All chickens are processed. They're in the ice chest. And now we just need to do some cleanup and put the ice chest up in the house out of the sun. <sighs> I'm tired. It was about a five hour process from start to finish to get 80 meat birds done.